Hi everyone, this is Little Surprises YT or Amy and today I have a collaborative project in collaboration with CoolPencilCase.com. This is the alpaca phone holder that they sent me and I decided to do an alpaca tutorial to kind of correlate with the theme. So I'm just going to get started on the tutorial and talk more about Cool Pencil Case at the end of the video. So here I have two fan metal charms that I got from Japan. You can find similar ones on Etsy if you just type in fan metal charm or on AliExpress. And I'm just going to show you how I make it in the silver fan, um, the little alpaca face. So first I filled in the crevice of the silver fan empty space with pearl clay and I took a blade to cut off the excess clay. You'll notice that if your clay is really soft, you're going to have to remold it back into position, but that's not too bad. I do have um, like a plastic baggie underneath to just hold the piece in place. Next, I am using a dotting tool to add some texture, um, the hair texture, and I do have other tutorials that show this similar technique, like in my Yeti polymer clay charm and my alpaca ring tutorial, which I will link both of them down below. You may want to use different dotting tools to create different hair textures. Then I used a plastic Sculpey tool, I got it for like 50 cents. Um, and started indenting where the mouth and the eyes would go. After I made the indents, I took some white clay to fill in the eyes and the mouth area. And then after I did that, I added in small little black eyes into the white part of the eye sockets. You may want to use brown if you think black clay is a little too intense. Um, that is my suggestion. Here I'm just showing you how I um, decorated the mouth of the alpaca. It's a lot easier if you have a photo reference or in my case I use the cool pencil case alpaca phone holder as my reference and just copy the mouth that way. Next, I am demonstrating to you how I made the ears of the alpaca. Now this can be a little hard because um, when I started smoothing it onto the face of the alpaca, it flattened out anyway. But you pretty much want to form this petal shape and then fold it in to make it kind of like a waffle cone. So here it is uh, blended in and I did have to retexture the hair. And this part is totally optional, but you can use some Pearl X or some pastels to color in the ears and the cheek. If you don't want to use pastels or Pearl X, you can always just use clay to fill in the pinks of the alpaca. I thought this just gave it a nice little touch. And that's pretty much it. I actually made three different alpaca fans that I'm going to show to you guys right now. And these are listed on my Etsy, so the link for that will be down below. So here I have a gold alpaca and it has brown eyes to show you the difference between the brown color and the black. The brown makes it a little more feminine, a little less intense. And I did the same for my little sakura colored alpaca. And these are actually uh, removable. Uh, clay doesn't adhere to metal very well, so what I do recommend is you should probably glue the clay pieces in. But the cool thing about this is I actually just switched them into different fan pieces. They clicked in really, really well, kind of like a remint, I suppose, or like a interchangeable toy. So uh, that's something to think about when you're using metal charms. Anyhow, I did use E6000 to glue in my pieces. And that's pretty much the entire tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and please recommend me more tutorials you guys like to see on my channel. And like I said before, these are all listed on my Etsy. Now I'm going to talk about what Cool Pencil Case sent to me. So they sent me this alpaca phone holder. And until the end of the year, which is only two days away, uh, you can use CPC 2015 to get 10% off $30 purchases at CoolPencilCase.com. They do ship internationally. And this is what the phone case that I got looks like, which started my alpaca theme tutorial. And here I'm just showing you their website and where you can find your own alpaca. I was supposed to do a Black Friday Thanksgiving video for Cool Pencil Case, but it didn't work out. So um, we decided to do an end of the year kind of video for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And if you have any uh, questions regarding the coupon code CPC2015 for 10% off orders $30 or above, please contact Cool Pencil Case. I hope you guys had an amazing holidays, a grand new year, and I'll see you guys in 2016. Bye!